All right, welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Doom Zero on PlayStation 5's Kex Doom Port. Doom Zero is created by Dacii. And I will tell you one thing that I can see the second this map started. Um, if you notice from the first level, these random blood textures that are making up the environment outside um, that's not how it should actually be if you play it on pc and i'm not sure if xbox uh does it either but i know on pc um doom zero has the proper skybox loading for some reason this is a bug that is unique to uh bethesda's port um they have reached out to Bethesda to tell them about this bug, but as you can see, it is still here. So I actually have no idea what the skybox looks like. I know he mentioned in the first one that the first levels was an abandoned city, but just know it's not a uh, looming wall of death all around us, though I do think it's pretty cool to look at. So in this map, we are Toxic Tower. We haven't even done anything and two monsters are dead. So, that may be the most impressive thing I've ever seen. Sit here, give the intro, and the deaths are just racking up somehow. <laughs> but 103 kills, 51 items, and 4 secrets to find. So let's go ahead. Toxic Tower. And let's work our way down. From what I am gathering from the outside, it looks like we definitely are in some sort of tower because I don't see the ground anywhere. So let's continue on. And I am absolutely loving the smooth combat in Doom Zero. Uh, uh, since this is the official broadcast, they won't know what happened in the live stream. But earlier today, I also live-streamed the other two primetime slots, Scythe 2 and No Rest for a Living. They do not feel as smooth as Doom Zero feels. Doom Zero just feels so smooth when you're playing it. I don't understand it. So let's go ahead and start clearing the tower out. Take care of Mr. Demon as he slowly meanders toward us. As well as 100% deserved it. This is why I always say barrels are your friend. Just don't let them be used against you. Like, you know, taking a seat on one <laughs> with a hit scanner in front of you. Now, one thing I do notice, though, is there is a uh, potential secret right there. We have a misaligned wall texture and a green section. So, hey. Death exposed it. Now where do I go there? Feed this curiosity a little bit. Work our way through this mess again. Super shotgun would be nice, but so far not necessarily needed. This time, let's actually get rid of the barrels. <laughs> Apparently, barrels are the name of this level. Where in the world did that demon come from? He just kind of, like, shot up over the horizon there. <laughs> that, that looked so janky with him running up there. Okay, we just got a mess of chaos going on with these hit scares. And it is not ending well for us. Okay. So we're going to have to be careful with all these shotgun soldiers outside. If it wasn't the barrels, it was the whole cluster of them behind us. So let's make sure they get special priority. Get rid of these gosh darn barrels. Okay, now no one can come up behind us. Unless they somehow take the lift that's there. Alright. Make sure to get rid of those this time. 
And again, the death exposed this one. This has got to be a secret. Yep, figured. All right, that opened up to, up to even more pain by Shotgun Soldier. And just for good measure, Spectre, I, I don't like you hanging out over there. No real reason. I, I, just, I just don't like it. I also don't like all these dang shotgun soldiers every square inch of this tower. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hit scanner heck. I don't even know where they're shooting us from anymore. I'm literally encapsulated by stairs. Uh, of course, right above us. Holy moly. So, the difficulty definitely ramped up between map 1 and 2, and I am 100% here for it. Even though I'm not here for all the shotgun soldiers. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, we're having fun with this one. The whole theme of this map is way too many shotgun soldiers. <laughs> At least give us a chain gun if you're putting all these in here. It's literally like shooting fish in a barrel and then hoping that the barrel blows up on them. Alright. At this point, I, th I feel like we just have to snipe everything. Because if we don't, they sure as heck are. Mr. Spectre, you're messing up our shots. Can you please move? Thank you. Okay. That goes down. Barrels go down. Barrels go down. Everything here. <laughs> okay. I feel like about 80% of all these hit scanners have got to be gone by now. Well, hi, Mr. Pinky. Bye, Mr. Pinky. Okay, so walls are opening. Okay, that's what's happening. Now I got it. That's why it seemed like there was way too many hit scanners. There's literally monster closets opening behind you as you go around this. That was very cleverly hidden. Nice job, Dassey. Apparently over there, too. Okay, so now we know the trick. And I'm not really sure if it is better to plow ahead and just let all of them fight each other. Or if we just need to trigger the ambush back up and then deal with it back here, possibly, if we can get back through this door. Because it seems like it gets triggered once you get past that first secret. And our only real health we have to work with is back here, by the exit. Uh, you guys. Getting bad flashbacks to E4M1 all of a sudden. It's really the same two enemies, too. Mostly imps and shotgun soldiers. So somehow we have to trigger these while still being able to get back through that door. Can we open it? Yes. Okay. So at least we have a plan now. Go ahead, clear them out before we trigger it. Especially everything over here. Let's make sure even in that little closet. <sighs> See, there's no one there. So I'm guessing when we open these monster closets, something opens over there too. Because there's no enemy there. Let's see if we can take this stuff from a distance before the closet's open. That way at least we don't have anything adding to our problems on this side. Alright. Long range sniping with the shotgun. It works for what we need it for. That puts us in the pit, which we really don't want right now. We really just want to get this area locked down. So let's go ahead, trigger the ambush, and run. 
Okay, where 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 did that shotgun soldier come from if the door didn't open? Okay, so we have to go even further. There it is. Up. Oh, oh, of course. We fall in the pit. Crap, crap, crap. Have to go forward. All right, deep end it is. Health, health, health. At this point, even the small health packs look amazing and beautiful. And here's a good sniping spot. Just get a corner on him. There, good grief. That was rough. Health armor bonuses, health pickups, imp hiding out in the corner. Now we're good. Surely. Let's go ahead, get our health that's back here. And where are we at with this? 63 kills, 23 items, no secrets. But we do know where one of the secrets is. And also there's a good amount of health down in the pit. So let's go ahead and clear out our friend that just magically appeared again. I wonder if he actually teleports in. More armor bonuses, Spectre. How many times have we asked you to move now? You're blocking our advance. Thank you. All right, green wall. Down we go. This is secret number one. And now with the rad suit, we can get around here. But somehow we need to get to where that uh, health pack was. So I guess we have to jump over here and then jump over. There it is. But it's not a secret. But I can open a door over here, so this must be a bridge. Just by the sheer textures here. That's got to be a bridge that raises. So let's go ahead back the way we came, up the stairs, get back out of here. And that must be what this switch over here does. I'm also seeing some kind of door-looking thing right there that may open. With the supercharge. Okay, we did get a uh, computer area map in that secret. And it looks like they are not done with the monster closet uh, fiasco. So we're to have one here. One in the middle. One in the corner. Okay, so this area is going to get pretty rough soon. But by the looks of it, we have explored most of it. So the bridge is still down. We can't go this way either. No? No. Hmm. And somehow we have to get to where the mega armor is too. Or I guess we just pull it down. Okay, there's secret number two. Actually, if we go up there, is there something up here? Again, the gore texture's not actually there. It's just a bug with Bethesda. It has been reported by Dassey Eye. Um, Bethesda just hasn't done anything to fix it. Personally, though, I think it's neat. I kind of like the uh, corpse skybox. <laughs> But I'm not really sure what the actual skybox looks like for this one. If you play on PC, it'll most likely work correctly. This seems to be a Bethesda issue. Now, is there a trick over here? Because I do see some gray. Heaven help us. Night watch. Help us with this turtle auto map. It is very hard to maneuver. So let's jump back in. Anything lift or move? No. So however we get there, we get there from the front side. And I still have no idea what this switch did when we hit it. 
because we can't go through here either. Because it seems like that switch didn't do anything, but surely something happened. Okay. They have me kerfuffled with this one. What are we missing? We clearly need to get across there somehow, but we have doors blocking our path in both ways. And there's nothing in the slime pit that we haven't already seen. And the auto map's not really giving us any clues either. Other than you can somehow get here. But we don't know how to get there. Aha! Uh -huh. That changed the uh, sewage level. Now it goes across. Very sneaky, Dassey. Now we can work our way up the tower. Yeah, across with the chain gun that we needed for quite some time now. So this switch is going to raise that platform. Perfect. Let's get back over this way because we do know there's a supercharge outside. Is there a narrow walkway here? No. Nope. Okay. No narrow walkway, but at least we know where we're going this time. So let's make our way to the bridge. Now we can go in the middle, and this... This has ambush written all over it. Let's see what it is. Yep. Okay, so now all the random monster closets are going to open all throughout the level. And this switch is going to open a door over here. Okay. So, I like the way he designed this so that you can actually see what each of the moving parts are doing. So, that makes this a whole lot easier. We have now 85 kills, 41 items, and two secrets. That supercharge is absolutely one of the secrets. Just have no idea how I get there yet. Unless... That opens that door. So there must be a reason that door opens. Let's go ahead and get this one open. And then make our rounds. So there must be a reason to be here. Okay, we have a new switch. And I would say that bridges that awkward gap that was there before. Giving you a shortcut around the tower. Also, anything here, so it looks like this is connected to a wall behind us. Uh, and you can see where it's inlaid, and not even with the rest of it. So here's how we get to the supercharge. Got it. I don't trust jumping back there. We'll jump back here instead. I uh, say we are supposed to go that way because that door doesn't open. Or just fall in the toxic pit. That works too. Now it's time we have hit this switch, take a leap of faith, and get the restore. Save. Alright. What mysteries await? At least now we have the chain gun to deal with the hit scares. Oh. Okay. I mean, at least you could be a little less subtle about it. So lights go out. It doesn't look like there's monster closets here, so I would say whatever it is is going to teleport in. Let's see. Or be weighing outside. Ah, oh, there's monster closets opened. Yep. So what did we unleash on ourselves? Let's see. Here it is. Even more hit scares. Happy birthday. <laughs> Well, luckily, with us having the chain gun now, this is no problem. So, quickly, uh, mow our way through this mess of stuff. 
And once that is dealt with, one enemy left, one secret left, and two items left. My guess is those two items are going to be in the secret. So what have we not discovered yet? Looks like it's something in the middle. So that's going to be something in this area over here. Let's go back to our sludge. Do we go down? That's what it was. Oh, it's the, like uh, like with Decino's videos, it's the obligatory uh, chainsaw secret. Okay, so that at least cleared the secrets up for us, but we still have one kill, so I'm guessing that's going to be at the exit. Two items. Well, no items, okay. One thing left to get, it has to be at the exit unless we're just blind. So let's get ready and shoot. Sure enough done toxic tower heck of a fun ride i think uh, hands down beats the absolute pants off of map one high energy tons of switches and platforming to do on this one really clever ambushes i mean we got our we got our crap rocked what was it four times in a row till we finally got this beat amazing level dassey absolutely looking forward to the next one and with all that said thanks for joining and we will pick back up with map three next week take care everyone